Doug and PA back with another video. So we're digging through the dumpster fire of TikTok here. And I found this woman who regrets all of her tattoos. Ladies, tattoos are not attractive, especially if you're heavily tatted. Any guy worth anything is not going to be attracted to a woman that's heavily inked. I'm sorry. I don't write the rules. I just report them. So uh, we're going to go over two videos. This is the initial video. And then she got a bunch of... Um, people responding to it. She has some pushback and she responds to one of the comments in the second video. We're going to get into that. Before we do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's see what this young lady has to say about her tattoos. Imagine, if you will, that you put a shirt on once when you were in your 20s and now you have to wear that for the rest of your life. And that is what it feels like to get heavily tattooed before you turn into a fully developed adult human. I wanted to talk about, there's like a lot of- So I'm gonna say that too. I don't have any tattoos. And when I was young, you know, I was a nerd and a gamer and stuff. So I wanted to get some video game related tattoos or, you know, I really like sci-fi. So I wanted to get like a Star Trek tattoo. Yeah, I know. And I didn't get any of them and I would have regretted them uh, now that I'm in my forties. So I'm glad I didn't get any. Put in the comments any tattoo regret stories, guys. I would love to hear them. And if there's enough, I'll do a video reading off the comments. But make sure to put some um, some tattoo stories in the comments, okay? Let's keep going. A lot of reasons to regret my tattoos. But today, specifically, I wanted to talk about not matching my aesthetic, right? So I think if you ask almost anybody that's over 30, if they have a better idea of who they are in their 30s than they did in their 20s, they're going to be like, oh my god, yes. I have all of these tattoos that don't necessarily reflect who I am at 36. They might have reflected a moment in time in my 20s, maybe a moment in time that I was like not doing so well mentally. And Yeah, those... Um your tattoos reflect when you were emo, when you were young and you, you were in your room with the walls all painted black, with the lit candles, you know, thinking about vampires and all that stuff. <laughs> she looked like she was probably one of those emo kids when she was younger, right? <laughs> they are here forever. Before anybody says anything, no, I'm not getting all of my tattoos removed. Like, that's not even feasible. Don't even suggest it. Generally, I have like a lot more femme girly aesthetic than I did when I was younger. I was a lot more dark and spooky and moody. And now like- Told you, she's one of those Wednesday Adam, Adam's types when she was younger. Like I have adult problems. I'm back to doing a bunch of stuff I liked to do when I was a kid, like collecting antiques and spending time outside. And I wear a lot of white and ruffles. My aesthetic just does not match. No shade to the artist. Still get a ton of compliments on them. Just wish that they weren't on my body. But I wanted to come on here and put myself out there and say, I was told that I would regret my tattoos when I got older. I am older and I do regret my tattoos. And you might too. Boom, there it is. There it is. And I'm telling you, so we're going to get to her response here. She'll take about why I got my but, tattoos and I've been putting... So before we get into that though, uh, I don't think anyone should get a tattoo until they're 25. I knew a girl, her husband got this tattoo of this demon face on his back when he was 18. And he, she married a guy and whenever they were like laying in bed next to each other and he was rolled over, like facing away from her, she'd tell him to roll back over because the demon face was staring right at her with its eyes. And he wanted to get it removed because, you know, he was an older man and stuff. But it's like, what made you get that tattoo? I work with this girl and she literally said her husband's a great dude, but the worst part about him was his back tattoo. <laughs> So let's see her response to this comment. Let's see what she says. I have a very controversial take about why I got my tattoos and I've been putting off making this video, but here we go. For anyone who's not up to speed, my name is Sarah. I am 36 years old. I am many things, including autistic. I am extremely heavily tattooed and I pretty much regret all of my tattoos at this point. I had a video that got a fair amount of views about that and I've had some some comments uh, from people who think they know why I got my tattoos. Pretty big inference here. If only I hadn't gotten them for an aesthetic or to be cool. And I feel like the reason that people want to think this way is because they want to think that they'll never regret their tattoos. I do. Yeah, there's a lot of cope going on in, in the tattoo community, I think. I think there are a lot of people justifying their, their awful tattoos. And, you know, people can kind of fall in love with doing that when just 
you know, you, you just realize you never should have got the tattoo in the first place or just get it removed. I do. A lot of people do. You might not be one of them. That's fine. I keep saying this. Every response video, people still get mad. Y'all are about to be madder. The reason that I got my tattoos was actually very, very important to me at the time. All of my tattoos are custom. They're very expensive. I had somebody draw them up to the specifications of exactly what I wanted. And making my body look a certain way was very, very important to me. I don't know if anyone else in the world can relate to this, but it, the world's a pretty big place, so I imagine that they can. My tattoos are for anti-aesthetic reasons. See my face? I'm 36. Imagine me 20 years ago, or 25 years ago, or 15 years ago. Without my tattoos, my face would tell people that I was a certain way that I knew I was not. I didn't know what was wrong with me, spoiler alert, it turned out to be autism, but people, and especially men, would look at me and expect me to be a certain way. Like, um, guys would expect that I was going to be like their all-American breeder housewife when they met me. And that's honestly, that's the vibe that she gives off. That blonde hair, you know, all American girl thing. And it's funny. So she got tatted up to not be looked at like that. But now she wants to look like that and she wants to get it removed. So here's, here's the thing, guys. I grew up in Washington State. Western Washington is the number one place, I think, where, where beautiful women make themselves ugly to fight the patriarchy. Okay. You have women like her. She would be really, really pretty, but she has all those tattoos. I've seen women who are pretty, but they they stop shaving their legs, stop shaving their armpits, color, uh, color their hair purple, get nose rings, get septum piercings, all sorts of stuff just to fight the male gaze and the patriarchy. And it's not too old until they realize it, it's not till the party's over that they want the um the, their pretty privilege back. It doesn't work that way. This is a one way trip. Let women would think that I was stuck up or full of myself. Being able to control what my body looked like was very important to me. And this was how I did it. I, I, there were many other ways I could have gone and I picked tattoos. And my tattoos are a form of self-harm. Boom. That's 100% correct. Guys, women that have a lot of tattoos usually have issues. Run far away, man. If you see a woman with with sleeves, tattoos on her neck, tattoos on her face. She has been through some trauma and she's going to make it your problem, guys. Run far away. I said it. I said it. I'm confirming what all the boomers think. I was not in an environment where it was safe for me to be soft or to be vulnerable. And so I wanted to look different. Nobody else was as tattooed as I was. I wanted to look harder. I wanted to not be noticed by a bunch of dudes. I wish I could have told me then from now, like, hey, that's that's like a thing for guys. It's kind of worse. So now that I. Yeah, that means she hit the wall. The wall is undefeated and tatted women, pierced women hit the wall faster than all the rest of the girls. I'm in a place in my life where I can be soft, where I can be gentle. I wish that I didn't have these to make me like hard or remind me of that time, but I do. And I kind of regret it. There you go. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think about heavily tatted women. Do you have any tattoos that you regret? What's your general idea of, of tattoos? And because I don't have any, I don't plan on getting any. And tattoos disqualify a woman right away when it comes to me. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.